Welcome back to the Sort Out ASI channel. Today is me, the Flying Scots. We're going to show you how you can download some skins in FM26. Make your game look a bit better than the base skin. So what you want to do is, first of all, you want to come onto the Sort Out ASI website, as you always do. You want to either go into Downloads on the top, or you can click Skins on the left-hand side just here. So I'm clicking Skins. Teach the FM26 skins, or there's 24, obviously, but we're going with the FM26 because that's what we're doing. We have a whole range of skins already been created by our fabulous modern community. Today, we're going to take a look at the Material skin. That's the one I'm going to download today. So, you can take a look through some of the screenshots, you can see exactly how it looks. Obviously, it is a skin, but it's not in the traditional sense that we're used to. Nothing changes in terms of the widgets, the UI, they're all the same. It's mainly about changing the colours to make it a bit more appealing. So, unfortunately, we can't properly skin it the way we used to at the moment, but that'll hopefully be coming at some point this year. And because it's slightly different to normal, it's not as straightforward to download and set your skin as in previous versions so i'll show you what you do here first of all say so you want to download it i've already downloaded it so i'm not going to do that you just click download as you would and then find it in your download folder if you scroll down obviously this will tell you exactly what all the fixes are that have been going into every single update but if you scroll further down it shows you here exactly what you need so what you need to do is download the file as we've done unzip it i use winrar you can use anything that's similar that does the job you need to locate the game directory. It's different for Windows and Mac. The instructions for both are here as to how you find it. So I'm on a Windows, so I'm in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Full Magic 26, FM Data, Streaming Assets, AA, Standalone 64. And Mac, it's slightly similar, but there's a few different caveats, which is why if you go here, this is exactly how you do it. I'll leave the file paths in the description below as well, just in case you don't want to pause the video constantly, etc. So once you've downloaded it, you've unzipped it, you've located the correct area through the file path for Windows or Mac. What you want to do is you want to locate the original files and make a backup copy of these. I just save them in a different folder on my desktop. I just have mine as skin backup. That's all I've done. And then what you want to do is you want to copy and paste the new files into the game directory when asked, and then it'll ask you if you want to overwrite them. So here we are. I've used the file path to locate them. I've highlighted all of the ones. I have made my backup copy. Now what I want to do is I want to replace them. Then once you've made your backup copy, all you want to do is you want to drag in the new files again. It'll ask you if you want to replace them. So I'm saying yes, obviously, because I've made my backups. They've been replaced. Now we need to do is load up your game. And as we can see, we already have the material skin on here. Just that brief preview in the load up screen, we can see it looks slightly different here. I will load up a game. I'll just load up my Man United game I've currently got going on. As you can see, different background here. This is a little bit of a spoiler for a rebuild I've got going on on my own channel, but don't pay too much attention to that just now. And here we have it. This is the new skin in action. It already looks much brighter, much cleaner. It's got the background as well. It looks really, really nice. If we take a look at just, we'll just take a look at a couple of screens. If we go to recruitment, player database, things like that. Again, it's all just a little bit lighter. We'll click on Wesley Fafana. Again, just a lot lighter. I think it just looks much better. Again, I'll leave the file paths for both Windows and Mac in the description. If you have any issues trying to download any skins, just comment on this video and we'll get back to you and try and help you out. And later on this week, we'll have a video showcasing different skins that have been created already by the community. As always, like, share, subscribe to my channel as well as sort of as a channel, and we'll see you next time.